What is up, everybody? You guys join us back here in Storm, I mean, Fortune Island. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing <laughs> a oh Fast and Furious recreation. Starting it out with the good old Fast and Furious recreation. You guys know how we do, okay? And this island perfectly simulates a route that will be the end of Tokyo Drift, where it is DK versus that one white dude. And we're going <laughs> to be racing the Mustang versus... <laughs> The freaking 350Z, alright? God, that intro, everything about the intro is just so screwed up. <laughs> What's his actual name? Sean! Oh, Sean! <laughs> okay, Wait, okay, uh, trust me. Okay, I'm, I'm not that up. ignorant and up. dumb of the franchise. It's just that, you gotta admit, he's a freaking forgettable character. <laughs> <laughs> there's just there's something that's not like as I don't like wanna forget what is his actual it. name? Hang on. Okay, yeah, it is Sean. It is Sean. <laughs> see see <laughs> you didn't even you weren't even hundred percent when you were freaking saying it. But I wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay. Alright, well I'm going to be DK because I am Asian. No, I'm just kidding. But um I, I actually really want to drift the 350Z in the new course too. I was practicing a little bit up there and it seems like it's gonna be pretty dummy lit, so Nasty, do you think I should put on the Rocket Bunny kit on it or Yes, I feel like you have to. Yeah, I mean you provide a good point. I don't well, hmm, I don't know. I think the whole car might look real two hours later. This is rough. Okay, they have, the problem is that they have all the kits and stuff for like the yellow 350 that was in Tokyo Drift that was driven by one of DK's gang members, but they don't have the exact one that he himself was in. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to have to go Rocket Bunny. Yeah, we're just going to go Rocket Bunny. Yeah, this wing's going to have to do. All right, we got carbon. And then let's go find some of the correct wheels. He has seven spoke wheels on this thing. <laughs> on the Mustang. Honestly, okay, yeah, these ones are really accurate because the centerpiece yeah, is a bit gray and, and then the lip songs. is a light, lighter silver. And I'm pretty, obviously now you can like do paint customization options on the wheels, but I don't think this design was made back when that was a thing. So we're just gonna, you know, ignore that. All right, this is where drift suspension comes in key. Holy cow, I don't even, did they have like WiseFab stuff back then when they were making those cars? Probably not, but I'm still doing it anyway just because <laughs> it helps. I mean, yeah, no, we're gonna need it. And then roll cage just for stuntman safety. I mean, technically, I'm driving the car that Tanner Faust had to drive around. Although, I'm not sure which one he was in for that scene, if he was in the Mustang or in the 350, but he was definitely driving a lot of DK's car as stunt work throughout the movie, which is a cool, like, fun fact if you guys didn't know that Tanner Faust was actually, like, a stuntman for that movie back in the day. That'd be dope if, like, Ken Block, they just use Ken Block for, like, although they need, like, a Imagine. solid good, they if need an all-wheel all drive, drive car where he could really perform be his best. If it had something to do with an all-wheel drive car, they would have called him, I guarantee it. <laughs> Yo, Ken? We need you. Alrighty, I think I'm good to go. This is gonna be fun. Literally, this is gonna be our, like, straight up Nasty and I's first time tackling this brand new drift area. So, we're also gonna be able to show you guys when this, in this recreation, pretty much how good, I guess, Storm Island can be at drifting or tandem drifting with that. Oh, think fun, I'm good on the fun mistake. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this design and this car is gloss, but this design is matted. But, obviously, in this game, whenever you go outside and it's raining and you have a matte or satin car, it makes it gloss no matter what, which is kind of, I think, a bug in itself. But, I guess that bug seems to be working for us today. Wait! I'm right behind you. Are you now? Oh, there's a... There's a... Oh, <laughs> Dang, that actually looks so good. Even though it's not, like, the fastback, it actually, like, it looks pretty good just flying by. Oh, yo, that's sick. <laughs> okay, the, the, the trim... The trim on the rear fender on your car looks a little sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I like think a that's black just... piece. Yeah, that's probably because, like, the freaking wide body is definitely off. But at least I'm a wide body, you know? All right, where are we going? I do not know this place at all. Uh, I'm just gonna... You want to drive up there, or...? Yeah, it's fast travel. Um, I believe the place, yeah. if I, if I got it, yeah, it's, it's like, like right here. This is probably one of the greatest villain cars of all time. Just everything about it just like speaks bad guy. And yet at the same time, it's so dope. It's almost like how Darth Vader is just nah. so cool on himself. Nah, that fam. You almost freaking love him. Nah, fam. Gru's car is the best. Who? Gru. Gru? Yes. The Groomobile? That freaking like tall yes. tin can looking thing? 
Yes. Dude, top 10 villain cars. Just imagine it runs through a bunch of Fast and Furious evil car. Number one, Gru <laughs> and his magical <laughs> flying spam can. Whatever the hell that is. It's got that little, like, flimsy Damn. little, like, rocket thing that, like, hovers in the back. <laughs> Alright, so the real question is, when and how long does night even last on this island? Like, do we even get Probably night? Probably a long well, we get time, because the, they get try the Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Aurora Borealis in this beautiful island, so... I mean, maybe, yeah, we'll add on to the movie scene. We'll have the northern lights going right above us as we are drifting around. <laughs> Why am I still stuck in the loading screen? Oh my god. Uh, wait, ha you haven't loaded okay, out finally. yet? finally. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Holy hell. Aurora Borealis. The Borealis. <laughs> oh, that was almost a smooth take right there, that position swap. All right, hang on. Just stay right here, Nasty. Let me just... Oh, they have car lights. Yeah, they updated photo mode a lot. Oh, whoa, this actually looks so sick. God, hang on. Can you can you pull forward a little bit? Roar Borealis. Are you good? Almost. Oh. What's taking so long to take a one shot? Can you turn headlights off? Oh, my God. Just <laughs> <laughs> take your thumbnail already. I did. Calm down. All righty. We don't have all, we have only so much nightfall. We're gonna be doing this full legit style. All right. There's no barriers, no nothing. All right. This is legitimately street drifting in the roots. Okay. As we do here in the drift mountain up in the Japanese hills, aka the Fortune Island that we're gonna be using today. Are we ready, Nasty? Yes. All right. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Sunday. Tokyo drift style. All right, so we have the Nismo staying up in front. We have DK's ultimate legendary machine driving in the back. That Mustang is fast. Holy cow, Nash Nasty is initiating already. Ooh, I'm getting a good follow on this. Oh, this is going to be a fun mountain. I can't wait for this. All right, I'm going to make sure I can get in the inside. This is a drift battle. Remember this. I'm going to be competing for pretty much my ego. <laughs> I'm competing for my reputation at this point. I gotta make it last. I can't let this freaking well, this Sean guy this, did, come in and ruin it. How all. do people drift at night? Because when you're drifting at an angle, the headlights aren't even looking at the road. Yeah. No, that do you need what my Focus RS has and a couple other cars? They have like when you steer the steering wheel, your bulbs tilt at the direction you steer. Maybe the Focus RS was your made for night that's drifting. That's actually like a really cool feature. Yeah, that's really that dope. Oh, look at this freaking tandem going. All right, we already have the sun kind of coming up, but that's all right because it's going to provide us some light because, honestly, it's a bit too dark anyway to at least see what we're doing. But, oh, I just love this. I just lo look at this weather and everything out right now. Like, this is literally, this is a mood. Straight up dawn drifting right here. Tokyo I like how style. you can see other people drifting too. Oh, yeah, there's definitely probably going to be others. All right, I'm trying my best to keep your, keep your line. I'm going wide on accident. Alright, I'm going to try and make a move here, though. I'm going to try and transition. Get the lead. See how things go. Oh! Oh, I love this section right here. It kind of dips down. And then you got to crank it immediately because we have this harsh corner. Oh! I got a little too much angle, but I still held it. Alright, you can see DK is falling behind. Pretty much I am, but I'm the villain, so that can make up for any excuse of failure. That since he's in the hero car right now, he should be doing better. But I gotta give him some, you gotta <laughs> give the audience some anticipation, okay? So I'm gonna try and come back. Right, come on, let me reel you in there, Nasty. Come on. Oh, I'm just gonna take the inside. Just ignore my little tap. Alright, here comes Nasty providing a good follow. Haha, uh -huh, see, he's got a bit more challenge. It's always the follow car that has no! a lot more of the challenge. I'm trying to give this as much angle as I can. Oh, there he is right there. There he is. And then I lose it over the <laughs> cliff. <laughs> J 
just like the scene. That was you being cocky. Just like the scene. Yeah, that was me being cocky in the lead, and I lost it over the cliff. Movie accuracy, baby. All right. Honestly, that was that was one and of the I most. And then I drive down to the festival where all the people are. Oh yeah, Nasty gets to drive down to all the. You get to find uh, uh, Neela and and all of her like uh, Asian gangster guys. <laughs> the guy with the freaking the scary man with the hat that rolls up in the bends and all the people <laughs> waiting. Oh my gosh, that was Yay! fun. Yay! Okay, honestly, that is like that is probably one of the best drifting courses that Horizon has. Fortune Island might be tiny, but they did provide a really fun drift circuit. Because, I mean, they hyped up a lot of drifting in terms of the main map before this game was released. And, like, you know, they, they hyped up elevation, all that stuff. And I'd say they, they sort of delivered. It didn't, like, and nothing exceeded my expectations. But, you know, they had some good mountain roads. But, honestly, Fortune Island is what we needed. I'm going to be hopping on here, like, a lot more for actual drifting and stuff. You gotta get the drift team back together. Yeah, the, oh my god, yeah, leave a like if we should get the ultra drift team back together from FM7. We have all the cars, but apparently a Mustang can actually drift better than an actual Japanese Nissan. Like, it's possible, so Nasty is doing his job out there to uh, do Mustang suffrage and for Mustang rights upon the stereotypes of hitting crowds, and he's doing the good of making a difference <laughs> and with that <laughs> please like and subscribe <laughs> this will be jack ultra <laughs> drifting off let's go <laughs>